Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Travel Free. In this video, I'm going to explain you about waterfall model in the subject of software engineering. Uh, in my previous video, I've explained you about process models, right? So in that video, I said you about five process models and that the first one is a waterfall model. In this video, let us learn about waterfall model. In the next video, I'll tell about incremental then evolutionary in evolutionary we have iterative and then unified about everything we will be covering okay so now let's get uh, let's get into the video first waterfall model waterfall model is one of the oldest model we know okay oldest it is very 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 oldest model that we know and it has sequential development that is uh, you will be developing in a, in a sequence step by step you will be going okay not all at a time and Next is the requirements should be clear. I don't remember why I have written this maintenance here, but the requirements should be clear. Okay, that is you can use this, you can go for this waterfall model whenever your requirements of the project are clear, when you have the clear requirements, right? When you are having a perfect clarity. Next, no reverse direction. That is you cannot go back. That is you start from, see this is the diagram, right? You go in this direction only, you cannot come up got it in like a waterfall like waterfall will go will come only down right it will not go back now don't say like in badrinath movie it goes up so that is exceptional cases but in general waterfalls in the sense they'll be falling from top to bottom right so the same flow will happen only when we are clear about the requirements okay done okay okay i understood why i have written this got it got it requirements phase to maintenance phase <laughs> now i remember i'm sorry <laughs> okay Mm, and when you are having low budget and no customer involvement that is the customer is not involving because if the customer is involving then the customer will see that and he will he may suggest some changes right if the customer is suggesting some changes in order to implement those changes you have to go back to the previous step but that is not possible here in waterfall model okay because it will not allow any changes got it this is about the waterfall model and now let us see the diagram which represents the waterfall model let me zoom in a bit some more yeah so this is the diagram of waterfall model right starting from requirements gathering to maintenance so in requirements gathering what we will do in first is requirements gathering and analysis planning and design coding testing maintenance see uh, in this diagram we have only five stage, uh, stages right but in some other website or some other video or some other textbook you may have six or you may have seven like sdlc also it is not fixed design the design changes so let us see about each of them now first phase is the requirements gathering and analysis right so here what happens is the basic requirements of the systems are understood okay we will be understanding the basic requirements of the system and all the requirements which are related to the system which we are uh, or the project which we are creating you will be gathering all those requirements okay simple first you will get to understand the requirements from the user then you will gather all the requirements that is you will um, make sure you will uh, make sure that all the requirements are there with you and then you will be documenting those requirements in the SRS document okay software requirement specification document that is what happens in the requirements gathering and analysis uh, phase okay the next phase we have is the second phase we have is the planning and design phase so in planning and designing what will happen is we will be planning on how to develop the software like how in which stages in first step what we have to do second step what we have to do we will be developing a plan on how to develop the software the stages the steps first uh, what we have to do like that we will be developing and next comes a design design in the sense you will be obtaining a design obtain a design why you will be following that design when we are when you are doing this coding phase okay next comes a coding so in coding what you will do simple you will be writing the code like code in the sense the language which a machine can understand got it so machine understandable format you will be converting whatever the design that you have drawn on the paper or um, this design could be in any form it can be a flow chart or it can be an algorithm or it can be a pseudo code 
it can be anything right so these flow charts or algorithms or pseudo codes whatever it is we can understand it but the machine cannot understand right so you will be writing a code which is nothing but the language which is understandable by the machine got it next after coding what do we have testing here in testing what you will do you will test the code which you have written okay the tester will do this you will test the code once you are done with the testing of the code you will find all the errors bugs uh, any issues any uh, anything wrong you will identify all those things and you will send to the developers team again developers will modify it and apart from that in the testing validation of requirements also will happen what do you mean by validation of requirements you will be having the list of the requirements given by the user and you will be matching each of those requirements are implemented or not in the project okay validation testing also will be done along with that it will also focus on the logical functionality of the system that is whether the system is functioning properly or not logically component wise everything everything is working perfectly or not that will be tested in the testing phase after testing phase the last one is the maintenance you already know what is maintenance you once deploy the uh, software to the customer deployment is nothing but delivering the software to the customer once you do that if there is any issue or any problem to the customer you have to go and fix that problem on time okay so you can say solving or fixing problems got it that is the maintenance we actually have five stages in the waterfall model requirements gathering and analysis phase where you gather all the requirements you'll be first you'll be collecting the requirements from the user you'll be gathering those requirements from your end and then you'll be documenting them into an srs document next comes the planning and design here you will be establishing a plan on how to develop the software which has all the stages and steps involved in the software and you'll also obtain the design that design could be anything it can be in form of a flow chart it can be in the form of algorithm or anything and next comes the coding where you convert the design into a machine understandable form and after coding we have testing where uh, the requirement validations happen also the code is tested done after testing if the test is successful we move to the maintenance phase in the maintenance phase we will be delivering the uh, yeah, software to the customer and from there we will be taking the feedback if the customer is having any issues we will be uh, trying to resolve them and all and here one more thing software or project or you know there are some words which are similar if i say software sometimes and if i say project sometimes don't get confused both are same okay so that's all for this video waterfall model very simple and in the next video we will be discussing about the incremental models okay so that's all for this video thanks for watching the video till the end if you're still having any doubts let me know in the comment section